What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land, and I'm here with a new video. We're going to be going over all the games and updates that released this week on Xbox. I was doing this on my podcast, but I wanted to switch it up and change things and make a dedicated video for the updates and releases. And then for my podcast, I'll go over other topics and stuff. So let's get into it. This week there was 15 new game releases and 5 updates. So let's start out with the updates. First, we got Broken Mind, which got updated to 3000 Gamer Score. If you already complete this game, you can load up the game and load your save, and then the achievements will pop. If you haven't played this game, it only takes about an hour or so with a walkthrough to go through it, so it's an easy completion. The next game that got updated was Nephidisis. This game also got updated to 3000 Gamer Score. It's a shoot 'em up game that's a little challenging, but the 2000 and the 3000 Gamer Score is just for getting kills, so you can easily get 2000 plus Gamer Score. The next game that got updated was Sea of Thieves. We're on Season 12 now, and they added a bunch of stuff to the game. There's zip lines all around. You can walk on your harpoon. There's new weapons, and there's new achievements. It's one of my favorite games, and it just keeps getting better, and they also just put it on PS5. The next game that got updated was Turret Rampage. This game also got updated to 3000 Gamer Score, and it's very quick and easy. All you have to do is turn your turret 550 times. If you haven't played this game, it's a really fun and easy completion. And then lastly, we had Vampire Survivors updated with some more achievements, only 35 gamer score, and it takes about a half an hour to complete it. All right, so that's it for the updates. If you want to stay on top of the updates, you can always join my Discord. I have an update channel, and you can even set it up to get notifications. Or also, you could join my Patreon and check on there. I'm going to post all the updates on there, and also a bunch of other stuff. I'm going to be a lot more active. The link for both of them are in the description below. But let's go over all the games that released this week on Xbox. Like I said, there was 15 of them. The first game is Candle Knight, which is an action-adventure puzzle platformer. It's by Jandusoft, and some of their games are sometimes janky. And uh, apparently you can get stuck in the hub world. But it seems like a decent game and not too hard of a completion, but we'll see. The next game is Cyber Citizen Shockman 3, which is a Rattalaka game, and the third in this series. It's an easy completion. It takes about a half an hour to an hour. There's only seven levels. You just have to go through it on normal and hard. The difficulties don't stack, but it's really easy. The next game is Front Mission 2 Remake, which is a classical tactical RPG. It's a turn-based game, and I don't know too much about it, but they also remade the first game last year, so it's cool that they remade both these games if you're into them. The next game is Full Metal Sergeant, which is a management game where you play as a drill instructor. You have to train your recruits. I heard some good things about this game, and also I heard it's a pretty easy completion. It only takes a few hours. The next game is Mice Guard, which is a little hack and slash adventure game, and it's a really easy completion, and it also has a window stack. It only takes like 20-30 minutes to complete, and I made a walkthrough for it. The next game is MotoGP24, the newest motorcycle racing game in the series. I never played any of these games, so I don't know much about them, but there is some people that completed it around 20 hours. Next, we got two more games from Carousel. We got Pool Slide Story and The Manga Works. These are management games, and they keep releasing them on Xbox. I'm curious on how many of these games we're going to get. I still haven't played any of these games yet, but they seem pretty cool, and they usually take like 8 to 10 hours to complete. The next game is Ready Steady Ship, which is an overcooked style game where you work in a factory setting up packages to be delivered. It's a pretty fun game. I like these types of games. The only thing is it doesn't have online co-op. It's local co-op only. The next game is Roof Cats Band, and this is a really fun matching game. You match cats together to make them grow into newer cats, and you have to try to get all the cats onto the screen. It's a little tricky, but it's a really fun game. All the achievements are easy except for one, and that's for getting all the cats on one level. It gets a little crowded, and it's easy to lose. But it's a really fun game, and the best part about it is it's only $3. The next game is Slash, which is a 2D samurai fighting game where you could kill or die in one hit. It's actually a really cool game. The art style is hand-drawn. I only tried the story out, which is really cool, but there's actually an online mode where you can fight people. I don't know how well I'll do on there, but you could probably boost it. There's a lot to do online for the achievements. It's kind of grindy, but it is a decent game. The next game is Space Mercenary Defense Force. This is a vampire survivor style game by East Asia Soft. It released with 2000 gamer score. It's really fun, and it takes about like 7 hours or so to complete. It's not too hard to complete either. It's pretty straightforward, and I really like these types of games, and this one's a really good one. The next game is Tales from Candleforth, which is a horror point and click puzzle adventure game. I'm not too sure about this one, how long it takes or anything. I was looking for some walkthroughs, I couldn't find any. But uh, someone almost completed it, they're just missing two achievements. I wonder if they're broken or if they just didn't unlock them. I'm going to wait for this one to have a good walkthrough. But the next game is The Fall of Elena Temple. This game is the sequel to The Adventures of Elena Temple, and it's a pretty fun puzzle platformer game, and it's a pretty easy completion. It released with 2000 gamer score, and it takes about a half an hour or so to complete. And then the last game they released this week was The Rewinder. It's a puzzle adventure game that came out on Game Pass and they released with 2000 Gamer Score. 
And it's an easy completion with a walkthrough. It takes about four hours. So there we go, guys. There's all the games and updates that released this week on Xbox. I'm going to be doing these videos every week on Sunday. Podcast is going to be separate and different now. I'm going to have a new episode soon. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not. Follow on Twitter and Instagram. And also join the Discord if you're not in there. And also join on Patreon. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And I'll catch you guys next time here at Achievement Land. <laughs>